Hello, I'm so gonna pause. Who's gonna fall on PS2? This is someone doing San Francisco, and it's not too different from the PS1 version. Uh, the base of it is pretty much the same. There's a lot of areas that you'll recognize in the PS1 version, the PS2 version. There's also some stuff that was removed from the PS1 version that's in the PS2 version. So, yeah, this is actually the closest the PS1 version ever gotten to recreating the majority of the PS2 levels. And, yeah, this is actually pretty okay for the most part. It's pretty neat. Anyway, we're starting off with some cash for us. And there's a lot of cash in here that I'll be clutching off. And, uh, yeah, the cash is all pretty, like, put together and centered on that bullshit. It's not too hard to get them all. Um, there are some spots of cash that might be difficult for you. But otherwise, it's not too big of a challenge to be able to get them all pretty easily. This area isn't too big anyway, so getting everything isn't going to be too much of a challenge. Which is why this one's not going to be much of a clusterfuck as the uh, last one. It's actually a lot more calm and put together than the last one. Anyway, our first goal is going to be Ottawa because obviously, right, it's always going to be Ottawa. Well, not really, but right now it's always going to be. And uh, Ottawa wants us to do a special little trick for him yeah, for some stuff. Yo, try this one. Put down a lip trick on each of the three pier signs. The trick, check it. Doesn't even say the name, but he says check it, so we just checked it. So yeah, BS boneless these pier signs. While we're at it, because we have a lot of time with this one, there's some cash here. Go to grab it right now. Done. Also another piece of cash over over here, where these two signs are. Take care of this one and take care of the cash over there. First, gotta bail. Because of course I'm gonna fucking bail, aren't I? Anyway, here's a gap. No, might as well. I'm not getting the gaps until much later on, but I might as well just shove a few. Fuck it. And uh, now I got that cash, speed bonus assist, and be done with this goal. That's it! You got them all! That's right. So now we got them all. It's time to continue on and, uh, you know, get a stat point. And then uh, put it on to, you know, Ollie. And you know, get some more Ollie on this shit. Now, if we stop here, we can interact with these things. There's a cell that's a bit of a hint and a, uh, you know, a bit of a spoiler for our next level because it's Alcatraz. Outside of that, though, uh, nothing too big. There's another one. There's another mini game, in fact, uh, and it's on the other viewfinder, but we'll check that out later on. Right now, there's some cash here. We'll get that. You might easily miss that and show that one, but there you go. And uh, there's a lot of people around here, like Kareem Campbell and such. And there's also uh, some more cash over here. By, uh, you know, Spider Treasure over here. There we go. But yeah, a lot of the areas in the PS1 version are here. You know, this area right here. There's no goal we have to look trick this spot. In fact, there's no gaps here we have to look trick this shit. That's good news. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's hop that viewfinder and actually do the mini game, which is actually saving the fucking seals. And all we have to do is tap X very, very fast, repeatedly. Yeah, it's nothing too special. Once we do it, we've got 500 cash. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and do some gold, shall we? I mean, I would love to go ahead and get some more cash, but, uh... Actually, I'm just fucking around with you. Let's go ahead and get some more cash. Now, the next piece of cash is over at the back end of these buildings. Some of them over there. And then you keep running through, which... Why not? There's another piece of cash over by this wire over here. Take that as well. Now, up this building right here, there's a cash, and then you jump over across the gap, and there's another cash in the other building. And they're all just squeezing between these slam bro sign things. Put some cash on these like rails right here, these pipes. Go ahead and take them. You can even electric for them if you want. And there's also a goal here that gives you a special trick, which is something that we always know from the beginning of the games. Oh, excuse me. It's our first visit, and we really want to remember it. Could I get a photo of you with my hubby? Fill your special meter, then do a dark slide on the waterside railing. Yep, all of the other games, we now have to earn the dark slide. But yeah, to do a dark slide and make this work, we actually have to do it on the first go, the third army grind gap. Otherwise, it will not work. Otherwise, easy shit. Done. Oh, fantastic! 
fantastic. You extreme action sports kids sure are talented. I suppose you could surf, ride BMX, inline skate, snowboard, wakeboard, and jump dirt bikes too, eh? Anyway, this will make a great addition to the scrapbook. Cheerio! She is heavily overestimating my skills in this game. Anyway, uh, that's it for that one. Now it's time for a goal over here, the painter. Look, if you really want to help me, clean the bird turd off the railing in one shot, pole to pole. I'm painting that next. I'm sure nothing bad can go wrong from taking all these seagulls by doing one grind. Let's go ahead and help the painter out by doing just this. What? My partner's in trouble. Somebody's got to help him. Don't just stand there. Do something. Uh, uh, um, I got an idea. I'll grind his finger and take it down. Oh, wait. I thought he was gone. I was trying to What? I couldn't hear you from all the sound effects that were just occurring. Whatever. Uh, that's it for that goal. Now some cash time. There's some cash over here. We'll take care of that. And some cash over there. We'll take care of that as well. You need to do a specific kind of jump for that one though, because it's kind of a bitch to get it otherwise. And it's also some cash over here. We'll make a jump for that. And uh, yeah, time for some goals now. Eric Costin with us doing a manual. Hey, you see these cones I put down here? I want to see if you can do a manual all the way from the first set to the second set. Easy shit, because it's not too far away. And this manual is not difficult at all. We've dealt with much difficult in the PS1 version, so you know. This is piss. Nice! And that's all he says. Nice. He's a man of few words, as you can tell. Anyway, we got a stat point for that. We'll put that onto uh, speed. Get us all a bit more faster. And uh, now it's going to get some more cash, which is on the spot that would usually have some gaps from the PS1 version, you remember. But in this version, uh. Just has a generic gap you'll get from anywhere else, and the gone high gap, and that's it. It's nothing too special, and it's actually kind of sad, really. And anyway, when I got that cash, it's time to go ahead, jump. No, just came. We're going for over here for this guy. Man, I took a header and lost all my packages. Can you help me find them? There's five of them missing. Thanks. Yep, this guy lost his fucking packages. We have to do his job for him. And uh. I would recommend you just grind for these. I don't know why I went for these ramps to jump for them, because usually I would grind for them. But for some reason, I decided, you know what? I want to make this harder for myself. <laughs> so, yeah, just grind for them, because why the fuck would you do what I'm doing right now with the jump shit? That's stupid. And uh, you should be done in less than 30 seconds, really. Like so. Thank you so much! Now I can keep my job! Good for you. And what's in for me? Stat points in $50. That's what's in for me. And that's time available balance. And now I continue on to where uh, Eric Costin is right here immediately for another goal. Hold on a second. See this plywood roller coaster I set up? Okay, I want to see you manual clear the gap back to manual all in one combo. Bit more difficult, but otherwise still easy as long as we got the speed and the jump for it, which we do. Done. Right on. See, man, a few words. Doesn't really say that much. Anyway, that's it for Eric, because he doesn't come back here ever again now. And now let's continue on to where we can get some cash over here by these benches. And there's an elevator over here, which will give us another piece of cash. And down from the stairs, up the top of this spot, we will find, well, an uh, interesting goal. Yo, you think you could beat my best three combos in a row? Man, you can't even front on that one, kid. Best go home to preschool. Oh, you did it, you motherfucker! How fucking dare you say I gotta go to preschool for this shit? I'll show you, you son of a bitch. I'll show you just how fucking good I am at this game. Yeah, how about this shit, huh? Your combos are fucking baby shit compared to how I can fucking nail it. Fuck you, Musker, you son of a goddamn bitch. Dang, I didn't know it was like that, man. Well, you started it, motherfucker. You brought it upon yourself. You bought the fucking thunder, motherfucker! Hey, Cream, how's it going? Yo, what's the deal, baby? Let's make it happen. You got two minutes. Beat this high score. Aight? Aight. So, yeah, 50,000 points. So much fucking better than goddamn Muska on his six 
thousand. Oh, go to free school, you motherfucker. You can't handle my shit, motherfucker. Oh, son. <sighs> anyway, we're done with this goal now. Nice job, yo. Yeah, thanks, man. See, he's got a he's got a better ego and all that shit than you, Musker. For fuck's sake. Anyway, manual balance. I'm gonna continue on to where we uh, have 5,000 cash, and we also have to do a combo from Skater Kid. Alright, it's like this. Collect the combo letters, but y'all gotta do it in one single trick combo. Easy. It's all just one grind. Yeah, just grind through it. You'll get it done. Make a jump over here and that's it. And then just land it. And... Done. Nice, kid! You got skills! Yeah, it's... Not too much of a big skill to get a combo, really. Anyway, that's a stat point, too, so... Whoopie shit. Gotta put it on air. There's two goals here now. We have one from Kareem Campbell for a pro score, and a competition, which I'll do the competition first, because why not? You, uh, want to compete? First place goes to the skater with the best two out of three runs. Yeah, I can handle it. Okay, I can't handle it. I just bailed. But I actually can, because the maximum for this one is 150,000 points. Which isn't too hard to get because the spot here you can go back and forth on. And yes, if you're using cheats, if you're using cheats, this is a really good spot to get like a shit ton of points and break the fucking game. Otherwise, um, yeah, 150,000 points or more, you'll be fine. You'll get 99 points all the time if you go for that spot, so there you go. And there is a weird thing with this version of the game, which is you have to jump for manuals because you just try to manual normally. It doesn't work. Even if you do it correctly, the whole manual thing, if you don't jump, it will not register your manual for some reason. That's weird. And I don't like that too much. I've never encountered this problem at all in my other playthroughs from all these years ago and all that crap, but screw it at least we'll get this done because it's not too hard of a you know score to get 150,000 points and then we're done of all the points getting 198 we're done we beat Tony Hawk and we got the gold let's get our fries wow you rip yes I don't know what I ripped but I certainly did get the gold so rip that I guess anyway time to go to see the Kareem who is much better than Muska and do our pro score See you handling a little business. Let me see you step it up, though. You got two minutes to get this pro score. Let's get it popping now. Yeah, man, let's get it pop. So, 100,000 points. That's pretty popping, to be honest. And, uh, yeah. This pro score is, again, easy. Again, if you were able to get 150,000 points in the competition, this should not be a problem. It's just, uh, you know, there's some good spots you can go for to get a whole bunch of points. So, just do your best, and it'll be done. Hey, like so. Nice, I like that. Yeah, no problem, man. See, he likes what I'm doing. Muska, he's jealous as fuck. But yeah, that's it for that one. Now, we're gonna get some cash, which is our final cash. And now, we have to deal with Muska again, the prick. Hey, what's up? You think you got mad flip tricks? Well, let's see if you can flip in and flip out on this ledge right here in EMB, man. Classic skate spot. Once again, he thinks I can't handle this shit, like I'm too fucking piece of shit baby stuff to handle this stuff. Like, for fuck's sake, man. It's a grind to a fucking flip trick. It's not a big deal. And yeah, it's another one of those goals where you have to uh, do the tricks they uh, show up on the corner right. And uh, make sure it doesn't fill up too far to uh, make you get a fail. And you will have so much time to deal with this one, like seriously. You can easily get all this shit done, and you will have an extra second to do whatever you want before the goal ends. Yeah, there's this weird delay for it, but by the way, you have to do the grind on the uh, actual outside area. The inside area is out of bounds, basically. Sick, sick, that's what I'm talking about, yeah! And just like that, he now has brain damage because I just showed him how much of a pro I am compared to him. Anyway, now to do this goal. Please, help my husband. He tried to get a picture, but he fell over the rail. And the sea lions aren't very happy about it. Distract him so that he can climb back up here. I don't know how the fuck he even got there in the first place. How did he even hey, get stuck he there? My stuff. Yeah, we have to do is take out the pl taco box, like which gets rid of the fisher, then we take down his fish collection. And uh, the seals just go away. 
And, uh, yeah. Simple shit, really. This isn't a hard goal or anything, and, uh, should be able to make it through relatively well, yeah, so... Yeah, the only no, difficulty you might have is knowing that you can actually grind these and knock the fish down. Because you might not be paying attention that much. Uh, otherwise, easy goal. We'll get a stat point by the end if I believe. And, uh, yeah. Now, do we even get rewarded for doing this? Like, do we get a nice little message or a, hey, thanks, dude, from the guy that's currently trapped by the sea lions? Well, we're about to find out right about now. Watch the fish and watch the tackle box. Nope. We just get yelled at by an angry fisherman, and then he just fucks off after it still goes away. And we got a stat point for that, and money. So you know what? That's good enough. Anyway, time for another goal. Oh man, I'm supposed to set up a contest billboard, but my partner lost all the letters that spell skate. Could you help me find them? Yeah, sure, dude. So yeah, skate letters. As they were before, you know, they're all in a bit of a mess. They're all kind of buried around and a bit harder to get than usual, these kind of things. Uh, but honestly, not too big of a challenge. This one's a bit more straightforward than the last one. And, uh, yeah. This is a easy freaking goal. I mean, they're all pretty easy goals so far, because, you know, they're not exactly pro goals. But, you know, it could have been a bit harder, but whatever. Skittlers are now done. Great! Thanks! Now I have to head for the pier and clean it up for that billboard. Yeah, about that pier. Uh, kind of destroyed from, you know, dealing with seagulls. Sorry, dude. Anyway, time for the messenger boy to do another goal of us. Let's see if you can match my blinding speed. We'll race down to the Slam Brothers warehouse and back. You better sketch cars or you'll never keep up. Yeah, it's not a sketch one, and this one's about the speed of sketching. Which you only ever do twice in the entire game. And uh, sketching you only ever do about five or six times. Yeah, sketching is very underused in this game. It gets underused in every game. So, what do you expect, really? But, hey, we're done. Man, I could double my route if I had that kind of speed. Yeah, you wouldn't, really. Anyway, now only have, I believe, one goal left, and that is of Ottawa, because he has some trouble for us. Yo, the guy who has my camera is missing. Can you find him and bring me my camera? Hey, yo, hurry up! These guys are gonna break out if I don't get a cover shot! Oh, fuck, that would be troubling, wouldn't it? So, yeah, you give his camera to someone else. Check it out. We have to check it out at Pier 18. And, uh, yeah. I don't know why he trusts some guy to hold on to his camera, but whatever. Let's go ahead and get it and just come back. It'll be teasy. What? Somebody jack my camera! What? Man, you gotta find that guy. How the fuck did he get mugged? Why did he get mugged? What the fuck, dude? There it is. Are you kidding? He tossed the film. What? Head for the camera shop in the park. Oh, this is some bullshit. Okay, we'll just get another piece of stock from the fucking camera store. Perfect. Now get back here with the gear before these guys bail. Yeah, we don't want that now, do we? But yeah, how about that? The fucker gets mugged and he loses the fucking film. Like, what the fuck, man? Whatever. I don't know this guy's shit now. Man, I owe you big time. Thanks. No problem, yo. And that is all the goals of San Francisco. And all the cash. Gaps, we'll do that later on. But right now, that's it for San Fran. We'll be doing Alcatraz next time, but for now, let's go ahead and buy some shit, because we still have some clothing to buy, and some other stuff we can choose to buy as well. But just to check in case, here's all the goals, we did them all. Done. And there's Alcatraz. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting very close now. So let's go ahead and, you know, spend some cash and some shit. Starting with the clothes we have remaining, which is only three articles. Officer Dick's shirt, uh, Ollie's jacket, and a kilt, I believe, yeah. So yeah, simple shit to buy, all $250, that's about 750 in total. And there you go. We're done. We bought all the clothing. 
So now let's go ahead and uh, you know pay for cheats. Why not? Got more special, you know, some kind of effect to it. Uh, gorilla mode, uh, kid mode, big head mode. Gotta have that. The future of skateboard, which I believe is hoverboard, and more your speed, which I believe is slow mo. And uh, yeah, the cheats are automatically on as soon as you buy them. And you can't turn them off in the menu, as you will see right now. You can add cheat codes, you want to get in much earlier about buying them, but I'm not doing that. We'll actually do something else with that later on. But right now, the only way to actually deactivate and activate codes is in the game. Which means you have to choose a level and begin it. But here we are. There's hoverboard, there's your slow mode, there's the uh, kid mode, there's the... I don't think the big head mode's on, but there's also a special thing, you know, that's on right now. But we don't have the special yet, so we can't check it out right now. And, uh, yeah, there's cheats. We have to turn them on and off from here. So, gorilla mode is next. And, uh, yeah, big head mode is on, but you can barely see it, basically. And, yeah, here's gorilla mode. Now, for some reason, big head mode turns off gorilla mode. I don't know why. It also makes our head very tiny, I believe. Maybe that's just my viewpoint of this whole thing. Anyway, we'll turn on, you know, gorilla mode, and then uh, turn off slow mode, and hoverboard, because it's not really needed right now, you've probably seen it. And there's gorilla mode. Fucking weird, huh? And, uh, yeah, the specials, for grinds to give it a spark, and for the uh, air tricks, I believe it's either a flame or more sparks. And that's about it. That's it for the cheats, for the school special, and the gorilla mode, all that crap. And uh, there's also a thing that's new to the PS2 version only, the Pro Trick Objects. It uh, gives you a whole bunch of set of stuff you can turn off and on, have them disappear and reappear. And when you interact with one of them and you leave, uh, you'll teleport right over there. Now, now, this can be useful at one point to add for a fucking goal, and another point to help for cash if you really want that way, you know. Anyway, that's it for this part. Thank you for watching. Next time we'll do an Alcatraz. I'll be seeing you guys next time.